Hi, gang. Today we are going to draw a dog. We're drawing from Lee Ames, Draw 50 Dogs. Now, the dog we're going to draw, we've got lots to choose from here. Here's your Cocker Spaniel, your English Sheep Dog. You got your Borzoi. There's a Bloodhound. You got a nice Basset Hound in here. All kinds of dogs that you can think of. But the dog I have chosen is the Black and Tan Coonhound. Now, the reason I chose the Black and Tan Coonhound is because Black and Tan Coonhound is a doggy-looking dog. It looks like a dog. It don't look like nothing but a dog. Ain't nothing but a dog. So, it's a good basic dog to start with, and then you can draw other kinds of dogs based on what you know from drawing your black and tan coonhound. Now this picture is best drawn in landscape, you know, horizontally, side to side. So turn your paper sideways. And I want you to fill up your page with your coonhound. Nice and big. It's easier to draw things big because you can get the details in more easily. So we will start with kind of a rounded square. That's for his head. And give him a nice barrel chest there. Then we'll come in here and extend his rear chassis here. Connect up his neck. I have a hunch he'll need a haunch. Get these in. I always make that one a little too big. Let me try that again. So we can we can just barely see that left leg there in the back. And that is snoot. Like so. And draw a horizon line down here. That's a little low. Right about there. Yeah, that's probably good. And that's where... No, no, I want to do it just a little bit lower. Okay, just a little lower. There we are. Now that guideline is where his back paws are going to land. That's the ones that are farthest away from us. I'm going to give him a tail. All dogs have a tail. Something to tell. And that's his foot that I've just drawn. And here's his other foot. Remember, we talked about this with the other animals. There we go. So if you look at a dog skeleton, here's his hip down to his knee. Very long ankle. I, I'm sorry, shin that goes down to his ankle, very long foot, and then his tippy toes. So he walks on his tippy toes. He's got a long foot. Here's his ankle, his knee, all the way back to his hip. So looking on this picture, this is where the knee comes. And we're going to connect the knee with a shin bone that comes down to the foot. And then at the bottom is his paw, which is just the tiptoes. Yeah, I was still a little high with that line, wasn't I? 
Let me come in here. There we go. I'll do the front legs. One that comes straight down. And you get a little bit of an elbow there, not much. I made that a little thick. So there are his legs. I'm going to give him an ear. Now the ear is kind of interesting because a coonhound is used for hunting. And yes, you might use him for hunting raccoons, but you could also use him for hunting ducks and other waterfowl. Well, if you've got these long floppy ears, what they do is protect the water from uh, the ear from water getting in there. Water gets into the ear, you can get an ear infection, all kinds of terrible things. So instead of having you know ears that stick up or uh, round ears, or fluffy ears, he's got a long flappy ear that keeps water out. That's very efficient for the dog. He's got his paw up because he is pointing, probably showing his master where there's a coon. He's a hunting dog. Oops. There we go. So that's, that's my roughed in black and tan coon hound. Now that I got him roughed in, I can see that I didn't give him quite enough belly. I, he's a little skinny. I need to feed him more. So I'm going to puff him out a little bit in some places just to make him look more like a robust dog. And I can do that because I've roughed him in. Now, you can do these first steps lightly in pencil. Then you come in with your dark ink and finish it. If you use a Sharpie or, or something that doesn't erase, you can erase then the pencil lines that you did. Then nobody will ever know it is the perfect crime. <laughs> you can fool everybody and they'll think that you just sat there and drew it straight from scratch with the pen. Which would be really cool. And most professional artists could sit down and draw with the pen, but most professional artists don't. Most professional artists will rough in in pencil to get the proportions right, and then they'll go back and fix it. All right, so a little hump there. Long, thin tail. It's a little longer than that, huh? Yeah, I didn't bend this back leg as much as I should have, so I'm going to give it a little more of a bend. And have him stand straight up. And that's one of the things you can do. If you look at your early steps and you didn't do it quite the way you want it, you can fix it as you're going in and doing the final draft here. All right, give him a nice thick chest there.
I apologize. Sometimes the phone slash camera gets in the way when I'm looking at my drawing. So I, I, it's like I had my drawing out of the picture for a moment there. I'll try and be more aware of that. Now what I need to do is watch on my phone so I can see what I'm drawing. All right, so I'm going to take out some of these red lines because I don't need them anymore. But what I do need is to put in some of the black. These black Italian coon hands. Black Italian coon hands. And black and tan coon hound is black and tan. No, you just don't look right if he's not black and tan. There I go. So you can use hash marks. And in fact, hash marks actually look better in this case because it looks more like fur. Better than using the side of your pencil to make a smooth gradient. This looks a little more hairy. He's got some hair on his face. Ah. I don't like what happened to his nose, but as I try to fix it, it seems like I'm making it worse. I should probably just stop fiddling with it. No, that's good. That's good. Give him a little smile. He's got a little color going part of the way down his legs. But not all the way. Your little paws and claws there. Really don't like the way his nose came out. I'm going to try one more time. Like I gave him a mustache there. Make sure those ears are prominent. His ear, I should say. Stands out a little. All right, I am quite satisfied with that. Uh, I just ruined his leg. I'm gonna have to. He's trying to get rid of the red, and I. Took out a little too much. Yeah, I'll get rid of it here too. Give him another paw.
That's the nice thing about the whiteboard. It's easy to erase and fix it, fiddle with it. You can do it with a pencil too, but I do like the, the white vinyl erasers as opposed to the pink erasers. Pink erasers have a tendency to tear up the paper. You don't want that. There. Okay. At some point, you just have to learn to leave well enough alone. And I, I just can't do it yet. <laughs> yeah. I am just not getting that the way I want it. There we go. That'll do. Okay. That is your black and tan coon hound. A dog looking dog looks like a dog. I would like to see your black and tan coon hounds, so send me a picture. And we will draw some more from Lee Ames Draw 50 series next week.